You are invited to worship with an ordained man of God, Bishop Dr. Larry Bryant, overseer of Tabernacle of David Church of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated at 8010 Rockbridge Road in Lithonia. This is Come Expecting a Miracle broadcast. Listen now to the inspiring message of preaching and teaching with Bishop Dr. Larry Bryant. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Once again, Atlanta. And this is the Tabernacle of David, Church of the Apostles Doctrine, where Apostle L.T. is the bishop. He's better known as Bishop L.T. Me, I'm Minister Kenneth Collins, along with Pastor George Mwenge. Praise the Lord. And you're listening to Come Expecting a Miracle, broadcasting live from 1570. W W I G O Atlanta's legendary radio station. And this is the day that the Lord hath made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. I will, because with each day comes a brand new mercy and a brand new grace. Um take advantage of each of each day that the Lord has given us because there are so many people that did not make it to see this hour of the day. They don't they don't have the mercy and grace that you have. So rejoice and be glad in the mercy and grace that God has given you and me. Uh, to fix whatever we could not on yesterday, to repent for whatever we forgot to repent for on yesterday. Man, we we woke up this morning. Uh, whew. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because a lot of time we, you know, we we lay down and 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 um, forget to repent. But God is, he's a merciful God, but where would we be if God didn't have mercy and grace on us? Um, we're not going to be before you long. Uh, we, we're going to, we're sitting in for, uh, for Bishop LT on this morning. Um, uh, some things occurred, uh, and so he won't be with us this morning, um, but he's with us in spirit. Amen. 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 Um, you can also uh, find us on uh, YouTube, Apostles Doctrine 200. I just need to mention that. Uh, Apostles Doctrine 200. Uh, YouTube. Uh, you can find us there. Uh, um and uh, I guarantee you it'll bless your soul uh, if you tune in, log in. Uh, you, there you can find uh, messages, services, uh, whatever you're looking for. Uh, the doctrine that we teach, you can find it there. Uh, healings, prayers. You can also find out more about us there. Apostles Doctrine 200, YouTube. Amen. Amen. So, um, this morning, not going to be before you long. Uh, so, if you have your Bibles, just turn turn your Bibles with us to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6. Um, if you don't have your Bibles, just write down the uh, chapters and verse and you can read it later just to try to follow along. It's all good. And uh, we'll start reading at verse 1. And it says this. Now these are the commandments and statutes and judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you that you might do them in the land whether you go to possess it. That thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee thou and thy son, and thy son's sons, 
all the days of their life, and that the days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of your fathers has promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as a frontlet between thy eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gates. And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not, the house and houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not, and wells digged, which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not when thou shalt have eaten and be full then beware lest thou forget the lord which brought thee forth out of the land of egypt from the house of bondage all right praise god praise praise god praise god mouthful uh that is a mouthful uh just real quick we are uh, go over to First Timothy chapter four. Like I say, it won't be before you long. Just a uh, short word of exhortation, and I, I think I'll try to read this. Uh, First Timothy uh, chapter four, and I, I'm gonna start reading it, verse uh, seven. And it says, but refuse profane and old wives fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness for bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life of that now is and of that which is to come lord we thank you for the reading of your word we ask right now lord that you would come forth and anoint this broadcast let your spirit ride the airways throughout atlanta and touch everyone that needs it we ask that you would bring forth this word and let it be the arima, fresh bread of life for today. We pray and ask these many blessings, Lord, and to everyone that hath an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord have to say on this morning. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, Today, if I can, just for a short time, if I could talk a little, uh, give this small word of exhortation a name or a title, it would be Practice Makes Perfect. We've, we hear this word all the time and we've talked about this before practice makes perfect and and and, and I know we you know we hear it all the time and, but sometimes we just sometimes we need to hear it again and that's okay um In Deuteronomy, the Lord was talking uh, 
to the children of Israel. About keeping the commandments now they are over in the land that they have received that floweth with milk and honey. Now God is saying, all right, now I did what I said I was going to do for you. I brought you over into this land. So now there's some things that you must do. Just like um, when you receive when, uh, with, when, when you uh, in your that which is natural first and that which is spiritual. You, in order for anything to work properly, to flourish, you know, you, you have to constantly work at it. Work out the kinks. Um, constantly flatten, batter, beat, practice, work on it, work it out. At first, Timothy let us know about the bodily exercises. You know, exercise is repetitious. In order for you to get stronger in something, in order for you to get better in something, you must constantly work on it, practice it, rehearse it until it gets into your mind. You know, the statistics say if you take on a cause, or, uh, uh, you want to get something uh, started, uh, get a repetition on something. You want to start a diet uh, or something like that, and you want it to stick, become a part of you. They say if you do a thing for about 30 days repetitiously, and then it becomes a part of you. It becomes a part of your thought pattern. It's almost like second nature. They say about 30 days, and then it'll begin to uh, come up on its own. You know, you know, some people so used to getting up in the morning, going to work. They've been working at this job for 20 years, and they have to be there at a certain time. They don't got so used to to the time having to get up to prepare to go they don't even have to set an alarm clock anymore because they're sitting up in the bed at the time that their body is used to getting up to get ready and they really don't need an alarm clock because their body is set for that time they've been doing it for 20 years today that's what I, I'm, I'm kind of if I can, uh, just for a short while, it's what I want to talk about. Practicing, uh, practice make perfect. We do these natural things. We lift weights, we work out, we, you know, because we want our bodies to, to grow, the muscle grow, and your muscle have memory. So as you work on your body, your muscle began to do different things. It begins to grow, and, and you see results. We have to do the same thing with our spiritual life. If we want our spiritual life to flourish, if we want our spiritual life to grow, we got to work on it. Now, Deuteronomy talks about the statutes and the commandments of, of God. Now you is telling you you got to do this. You need to do this because just like with anything else, if you stop rehearsing it, if you stop practicing it, if you stop working on it, you can lose it. Just like with exercising, if you 
You seen the person that used to work out all the time and they had all the muscles and they had all the, you know, everything was looking good and then they, something happened and they fell off from exercising it. And you look at their body and they began to lose muscle mass because they're not doing the exercising like they used to. And they began to deflate, if I could use that word, or, or their body began to, to to go back to the way it was. Paul letting us know that body exercise, body exercise profited little, but godliness, the ex- exercising godliness, it it's a it it profits all the way around. And in Deuteronomy, was saying the same thing as a reason for why God told them to do this. Practice. Take take the the statutes and the commandments that I've given you and and teach it. Talk about it. Put it on your hands. Put it on the frontlet between thine eyes. Write it on your doorpost. Teach it to your children, to your children, you know, children, children, talk about it in the gates. Keep it up front. Why? Because somewhere down the line, you're going to forget where you come from. You're going to forget that I did this for you and you're going to get caught up in the wrong spirit. So you have to constantly practice the the statutes of God. You've got to constantly practice the commandments of the Most High. You've got to come to Word of God. Let us know that the effect, sure, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You've got to constantly move in the direction of God, in the direction of Christ. you got to daily modify the deeds of this flesh. You have to constantly put your foot on this flesh because the flesh warreth against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. But if we don't exercise our spiritual muscles, then we won't grow in the spirit. Thus, we will be overtaken by this flesh. by uh, the deception of Satan. We won't be paying attention because we're weak. Oh, but this flesh is strong. It's just flesh. The flesh ain't strong. The flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. And if we don't exercise our, our spiritual muscles, then we'll be overtaken by this weak flesh and Satan will have his way with our minds. And we, we, we don't want to do that because we, we don't want to forget the Lord, which brought us forth out of the land of sin from the house of bondage. We don't want to forget because if we forget then we're in trouble. We are in serious, serious trouble. 
So just like bodily exercise, if you want to run faster, you know, lift more weights, um, strengthen your core, you got to work on these muscles. It's the same thing with your spiritual life. You want a stronger prayer life, you got to constantly pray. You want to be able to fast uh, for long periods. You have to constantly do short periods and, and set little goals to reach so, so you can get to the point where you can do what you want to do according to the will of God and according to your spiritual walk with Christ. You want to learn more about the word of God? You've got to study the word of God. You want, you want the word of God to flow out of you? You've got to put the word of God in you. Then will you be prepared. Then will you be ready. Then you can say, I'm dressed. I'm putting on the whole armor of God so that I can stand against the wiles of the devil. But if we don't practice, if we don't practice, then we're going to forget something. The word of God let us know you're going to forget and if you forget to put on something and you go out there to fight this battle against that devil, you're going to be hurting something awful because you forgot to put on the breastplate of righteousness. You forgot to put on your helmet. I, I left my sword, which is the word of God, over in the corner somewhere. Oh, my goodness. I, you know, I, I didn't think. I, I forgot because you're not. You're not working. You're not working your your, your your spirituality, which means you're you're gonna get caught up in carnality, and that's 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 something that old Satan he that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to get caught up in the carnality of this world and this life, and forget to exercise your spiritual body. The word of God let us know that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So you got a flesh that you need to feed and you got a soul that you got to feed. You got a fleshly body that you can exercise and then you got a spiritual reality that you must build up according to the scriptures. Saints of God, practice make perfect. You you can't just you can't just expect to go into a gym and get up on a three hundred and fifty pound uh, weight and think you finna just bench press it and you ain't worked up to it. You finna hurt something. You're gonna hurt something in your body. You're gonna crack something <laughs> because there's too much weight. You got to work up on it. You got to build up on it. Same way with the spirit realm. You can't just think and expect to run out into a spiritual battle against Satan, someone that's been battling for 6,000 years uh, and think that you're going to just be able to withstand the fiery darts that he's throwing at you and you forgot to get dressed. You don't even remember how to put on your your, your shoes, which is the preparation of the gospel of peace. You, you, you forgot to gird your waist about with truth because you got caught up in the carnality of this life. Oh, you're going to be in trouble. So you got to practice. You got to practice. You got to practice and you got to take all your weapons that you have been given through the spirit and, and practice with them and use them and, and, until you can become a skillful warrior in Christ. Child of God, and to everyone that's under the sound of my voice, practice your godly uh, spiritual gifts in the spirit. Work your spiritual muscles. Amen. Get out of the corner flesh 
and get into the spirit. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Amen. And with that, saints of God, we'll, we'll leave you with that. So we're praying this right now that, that the word of God is fresh bread of life for today. And remember that God loves you. Bishop loves you. We love you. Amen. And that God is in control of all the affairs of man. And God knows who you are. Remember that child of God in Jesus name. Be blessed. You have been listening to Come Expecting a Miracle broadcast with Bishop Dr. Larry Bryant, overseer of Tabernacle of David Church of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated at 8014 Rockbridge Road, Lithonia, Georgia, 30058. Join us each Sunday for our 2 p.m. miracle service and at 8 p.m. on Wednesday for Bible study. And for the 24-hour prayer line, call 770-912-0433. 770-912-0433. To make a donation to this ministry, you may do so at Tabernacle of David Church, P.O. Box 390156, Snellville, Georgia, 30039-9997, or email us at Dr. L. Bryant at T-O-D-C-A-D-I-N-T-L dot com.